are here today for a very special situation. Now, some of you that have been following the journey all along know this man next to me. His name is Jeremy Craig. He is a professional distiller, mostly of rum. Mostly rum, yep. But we, yep. Make, we make all kinds of stuff. I mean, we do have a vodka, we do a gin as well. We're here at Copper Bottom Distillery in Holly Hill. Holly Hill, right? Holly Hill, yeah. Holly Hill, still Daytona. It's, I mean. it's listen, yeah. it's might as well be Daytona. <laughs> We're in Daytona Beach, let's right. go. Um, and we are here to bottle our bourbon. Jeremy's been kind enough to offer his services yeah. to us to bottle our, our bourbon. And we've got next to us six barrels of seven year age now? 17. I think it's 17. Six, six, six year. No, this is. That, that would be seven year age. Seven eight. years, yeah. Okay, so they look so clean, but if you come around this side, you're going to see. Jeremy, you were telling me about these codes and what they mean. So yeah. 17 is the year. Yeah, so the government makes us all do this the exact same way. So we always have to put this code on there. So it's 17 is the year, A is the month. So it goes A, B, C, D. A is January 10th, 2017 is when this one was bottled. Okay. Or barreled, I should say. Yeah. And so this was distilled by MGP in Indiana, the old yep. Seagram's distillery. Yep. One of the oldest in the it's country. One of the oldest, yeah. 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 Jeremy, you were kind enough to point out to me that if we wait till January, yeah. <laughs> there'll be seven years. We were talking year. about doing this a little bit earlier, but I was yeah. like, yeah, that couple extra months goes a long way. Yeah, exactly. And it's also the year that we started, which is why we picked those barrels in the yeah. first place. So, And yeah. then you have the bottles. Have the bottles. Right? And yep, yep. So bottles, there's a bottle cost. And I don't know, I, I don't honestly know what you guys pay for these, but my guess is probably around two bucks a bottle. Usually. It was around 250 if yeah. I'm not mistaken. That's probably about right. Yeah. And so we chose to do painting, but we wanted the orange and the cream. So we got, and then you have, you know, all the labels that are going to go on it, plus the cola's approval. Cola's which approval. Is, it's a lot, man. It's There's a, a lot, lot, especially when it comes to alcohol. There is a lot that goes into it. But you should appreciate that because oh, yeah. in my business, in cigars, any guy who goes down to the Dominican Republic thinks that they're like some big uh -huh. shot in the industry. And all they have to do is come up with a couple thousand dollars and some bands and stuff. So it, the, 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 what I liked about the experience so far is that the barrier to entry was a little bit more challenging. Oh, yeah. And um, I think that weeds out a lot of people that don't really want it bad enough. It 100% does, but also it's just, especially coming to somebody, because again, you can't do it, just do it yourself. No. You have to be a licensed distiller in order to do this. Yeah. And in order to do that, there's some minimums involved as well. You can't just come and say, hey, I want two cases of something. That's just right. not gonna happen. <laughs> um, but if you wanna come in and, and put that initial investment down, you can make it happen and we can come up with something really cool. And I am, Super excited about this. This is going to be this is going to be fun. You know, uh, we're we're pouring our heart and soul into it. Like everything else, we do at Pravada, and the bottom line is um, nothing pairs better with cigars than, than bourbon. You're right. It really is. You're right. Rum. You could argue for rum. You could yeah. argue for cognac. You could argue yeah. for scotch. But for some reason, most American cigar smokers are gravitating towards bourbon. So we wanted to put out a pairing thing. And we were also aging our cigars in X bourbon casks. And we got tired of spending three, $400 on a bourbon cask. And it's like, why not get the juice out of it too? That's and right. then we could actually pair that product. So the idea is all of the juice from these barrels will go into these bottles. Then we're gonna take cigars, age them in those barrels so that you have an actual pairing situation like you've never had before. Those cigars will impart some of the flavors of the wood and whatever leftover traces of bourbon are in there. You're gonna get that vanilla, a little chocolate, you're gonna get the woods, and you're gonna be able to sip this while you smoke that and have two things that were made together for each other. I love it. Sort of. Oh, I love, I love yeah. it. I love the idea. And so, uh, I just got to figure out how we can have some of that here now. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we got, I got you. We got to right, make so that one, happen. One Let's hand go. washes the other. And just one last thing. What's this sweet smell? Is that yeast or something? No, the or sweet smell is actually these barrels. Yes, that, it's the- Really? So first thing, you, you guys came in right at the right time because uh -huh. first thing in the morning when, you, when everything's been shut up all night, yeah. you get that nice, just the aroma of the barrels. I mean, when everything's opened up, it kind of dissipates for a while. Yeah. But when everything's shut up overnight, you walk through the for door for the first time in the morning. It's got a beautiful, nice, beautiful man. smell. It's yeah. a really nice, it's pleasant these guys right smell. Here. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, let's um, let's see what we got. Yeah. 
This is exciting. I want to taste this. I definitely want to sip this. And what one thing I want to get out of being an owner of a, of a bourbon brand, because part owner, I should say, because you guys are the reason why we can do this. This is the same as Cigar Projects. You guys are the reason why we can do this. Because without your support, none of this is possible. So it's like the most special thing in the world to be able to go out and dig into these craft situations, chocolate, coffee, bourbon, and make these special products for you guys that are extremely limited and do it in a way that really excites you guys. What I'd like to learn out of this is, and I don't want to sound corny, but how to drink responsibly. Jeremy Cyrus does a ton of stuff with bourbon and he's a friend of mine and he's able to sip bourbon. I've never been able to do that and I'm gonna practice a lot with this because I wanna be able to just sip a pour. And get a piece of chocolate. Wow, look at that color, dude. It is great color. All natural. How's it? Look at that beautiful copper color. Wow. Uh, it smells the way I wanted it to smell, like fruit somehow. What, what, what would you, what do you call it? It's, oh, that's very woody. Yeah. But then it also has that thing that good bourbon has where it's like, I guess you could say floral. Raspberries come to mind, but it's not raspberry. Yeah, it's a, it's a higher rye bourbon too. So you're gonna get a little bit of spice on this one. Yeah, so you get that little extra spice from that high rye. Yep. Because this is 36, Six. yeah, 36% yep. rye, so you get that little bit extra spice. But that's pretty darn smooth coming right out of the barrel. That's wow, pretty that's nice. very, 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 very good. That's very nice, yeah. I'm very happy with this. Yeah. Cheers, guys, to everyone who can't be here. Cheers. Hopefully you can live vicariously through this video and get a bottle of this. Well, this is barrel I'm, number one. I'm so impressed with how this came out. We're very lucky. It's a roll of the dice, man. It is kind of it a is. roll of it the is. dice. <laughs> yeah, because at the end of the day, you really don't know. I mean, they could send you a sample. Yeah, you have. They're a, not sampling that barrel. No. And you know, you have a good idea of what it should taste like, but you're right. Every barrel's different, so every one is going to taste slightly different coming out. So this is barrel number one. We yep. should mark it somehow. Yep, Do we have will. a sharpie? Okay, I got one. each one of these, corking each one of these uh, by hand, every single one of these bottles. And the ladies are gonna tell you, like on the label, which barrel it came from out of the six barrels and which number bottle it is. And then we're making baseball cards that go with it, so. Anyway, this thing is so delicious, it's like way better than I expected it to be. I expected good, the samples were good, they weren't this good. This is uh, 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 things falling into place, like, wow. It's exciting. It is exciting. 